yeah, that's a dandy. It's a good way to start the morning. Um, you know, just just picked up that crawler as I was just giving it a good little wiggle, you know. I don't know if you can see that, but that's why they're in here. A massive school of, I think they're young and they're perch. They don't look like shiners. I think they're perch, but there's a lot of them. And you can see them plain as day with your eyes. Oh, there she is, she's a beauty. The old LVS 34. All morning guys, we're out to uh, out to our spot for the day here. Uh, I thought it'd be fun to make a video on, you know, this summertime weed line bite. I mean, this, this bite goes typically from mid-June and the weeds start to get pretty nice and thick, you know, all the way up until they die. I mean, there's, in my, in my experience, fish on the weed line all year long. Um, the spot we came to today has got an exceptionally defined weed line like it's like a cliff right like just a big wall of weeds um, they lay right at the base of it it's really fun to fish especially with live scope because you can just drop it right in their face and a lot of times them fish on the weed line are biters so uh, we'll see if we can find a couple this particular lake's got a lot of nice oh nice mid 20s fish in it so hopefully we can get some good footage um, yeah stay tuned there's that weed wall I'm talking about, like it's just thick and then just stops. And then there's some sparse stuff along the edge. That's what they lay in. Seen the boat, he didn't like that much. Come on now. Grab the net quick so we got this up here. He's bigger than I thought he was. Nice one. Get him in the net here. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That's a good start to the morning. You know, these they came right off in the net too. That's a good, uh, yeah, maybe a 23, 24 incher. All tangled up here. Yeah, that's a dandy. That's a good way to start the morning. Um, you know, just, just picked up that crawler as I was just Giving it a good little wiggle, you know. Let's see what he uh, see what he measures here. Yeah, he's 24 on the nuts. We'll get him back before he gets too worked up. There you go. Flip over. There you go, buddy. We don't get a lot of fish this size down in here. This is one of the best parts about drop shotting um, live bait versus just regular rigging live bait. 
is almost every time you get them hooked in the top of the mouth like that. You're not hooking their guts. Um, it's great for release fishing. So that's it. It's just a, uh, I use a size two for these bigger night crawlers. Um, you can use any drop shot hook. I like these spin shot hooks because they don't seem to coil your line so bad. They've got that little, I don't know if you can see that, but that little swivel built into the hook. Um, it's particularly nice with creek chubs because the creek chubs like to spin and swirl on the way in. There we go, we ate it. I'm gonna eat it for just a second. Let, oh. Let him eat it long enough. Good, let him eat it long enough. That's a bummer. <coughs> That's probably the hardest part with this drop shot fishing is when you're using a larger bait is, you know, it's a lot like live bait rigging, but you know, on a rig or whatever, but you can't let them take it super long because once they feel the resistance of that weight tied to that hook, a lot of times they'll drop it. So you gotta, you know, figure out that happy medium, you know, where you can let them chomp on it a little bit, choke up on it but not lift up on that weight, right? And that's where the touch comes in a little bit. There's a couple better marks, which appears to be some bait fish mixed in. There they are, there they are, that'll be good see but that looks like what it looked like yesterday there's a bite yeah not a giant but another quality fish for sure Oh, it might go 20 inches, maybe 19. Let's see, let's see what he is. I think he's about a 21, he's kind of skinny. Oh, 20. 20. One fish. Nice little 20 inch, nice golden color on these ones in here. Might be a little better one. Feels decent. Looks better. Thinks he's tougher, that's for sure. Well, that's a good one. That's a nice one. That's a good one. Good low low twenties maybe. You know, nothing wrong with that. Let's see, what we see what we got here. Oh, he's bigger than I thought. He's uh 24 and a quarter. Nice looking, nice healthy looking slot fish. That's a good one. We'll let him go. Oh yeah. 
great release. Well, that was fun. That was a good one. Well, we uh, we didn't get as fit in many fish as we'd like, but uh, we caught a you know a handful of good ones and and a couple smaller ones and um, we're on a bunch of fish. They just uh, didn't want to commit a whole lot, but. Um, I think we got seven or eight or something like that for a good morning, hot morning fish. But um, yeah, night crawlers were the ticket. Only night crawlers. They wouldn't eat leeches, wouldn't eat minnows. Um, typical when it gets this hot like this. Seems like it's the only thing that works. But yeah, so there you have it. Till next time.